All right, this is going to be one of my rant videos. I'm going to try to keep cuss words out of this video because I know people on here don't want to hear that. But this is just absolutely ridiculous. This is a, a radio one of my customers sent me. They got it online and wanted to have it restored. So they had the seller ship it directly to me. So we could uh, do a, a, a restore on this. And when I got it... The chassis was not secured inside the radio. The radio was packed very, very poorly. I will show you the packing material in a minute. But uh, this really pisses me off because, you know, these radios have been around for 80 years. And, you know, this could have been a restorable set. You know, it's one of those Philco bullet radios and... These are pretty desirable sets, are really good radios, but this one is pretty much garbage now because of a moron eBay seller who can't pack anything. The chassis came loose, let me show you. The chassis came loose because there was one screw holding it in, and that screw busted through the chassis right there, or busted through the cabinet. The chassis came loose, and that that's a screw hole that was supposed to go into it busted free of that and the chassis came up and hit here and tore it up this is a Philco uh, 37610 and it's pretty much garbage now it has no value somebody might be able to you know recover it or something put a new cover over the top of it but you know this just really ticks me off it's ridiculous and uh it busted the knobs because when the, the chassis came loose it pulled all these knobs out and it probably come out at an angle and snap that off all these little pieces of wood that go you know between the where the joints are in the cabinet uh busted off First of all, this box is about half the size it should be. I mean, you can barely, I mean, you can barely fit this radio in here. You can you can fit it in here and there's just enough room for this crappy packing material. And now for the best part of all of it, they use this thin crappy box that has no strength to it. Look how thin that box is. And then this is what they use for packing material. This this is all the bubble wrap they use. This thin, cheap, crappy bubble wrap. And they put the radio in a plastic garbage bag, which is basically what it is now. It's garbage. And then a couple of pieces of thin styrofoam. I mean, this ain't going to protect crap. And then this piece of cardboard was on the back of the radio. That was the only thing protecting the back of the radio. It's a zero protection. Then they had this shoved on the side right there to protect it, the side of the radio from the box. That's all that was on that side. I mean, this is this is garbage. Just just complete irresponsible packaging. Complete irresponsible. Complete irresponsibility. It's crappy box so now a radio that's been around for over 80 years is pretty much garbage you know somebody might be able to repair that but it ain't going to be me and then the, the the seller has the gumption to try to do a, a claim through uh fedex that ain't going to happen they ain't going to pay they ain't going to pay a claim when you pack it like this are you kidding me that's that's just not going to happen all right, I'm off my soapbox. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, somebody made it all the way through this video because this is ridiculous.